What's next for Final Fantasy? Well, we had the incredible Final Fantasy 16 last year, and then we followed that up with, earlier this year, the amazing Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. It has truly been an amazing time to be a Final Fantasy fan, but we're insatiable creatures, and we need more. And as the warrior of hype, I need something to hype up and guess what there's the strongly rumored final fantasy 9 remake on the horizon and here's everything i know about this final fantasy 9 remake but to start let's begin with the final fantasy 9 anime which back in june 22nd of 2021 that is three years ago Cyber Group Studios announced that it has entered an exclusive option agreement with Square Enix for an adaptation of the timeless classic Final Fantasy IX into an animation series for the first time. That was almost three years ago. And then the year after that, we have, this is with uh, animationmagazine.net, October 11th, 2023. And we have the Cyber Group Studios COO saying, quote, we're really expanding our target audience now with projects that we have in development, which zero in on tween, teenage, and young adult viewers. It is really important for us to be able to provide our partners with content for various audiences. We're also exploring many different types of story genres from slapstick comedy to older skewing action adventure shows. And I'm pretty sure that's the Final Fantasy 9 because when we scroll down among those shows helping the studio build new franchises in the coming years is press start of course press start right here press start was released on the on peacock streaming services of last year we're talking 2023 so let's go back to this interview real quick but Continuing on from there, it says also on tap is the upcoming animated adaptation of the popular PlayStation game Final Fantasy IX in partnership with Square Enix. Again, so we had 2022, 2023, and now in 2022, sorry, skipped a year, but gotta say this is coming from the VP of International Licensing. Additionally, our most recently developed shows, Digital Girl, The McFire Family, Press Start, and Final Fantasy IX will be presented for the first time. These four new series have a strong licensing appeal for different age targets, and that's what we were talking about earlier with the tar uh, target age groups, and uh, this one probably being for the more young adult for Final Fantasy IX. But again, I highlight the date, 2022 meaning final fantasy 9 was ready to be shown at one of the expos for the first time it was not shown there it was held on the back burner now to me this is telling me hey final fantasy 9 anime has been ready for a very long time i think they're just sitting on it i mean the they says recently developed past tense shows the show is done season one is done i feel like may i'm just just based off of what i'm reading here it is ready to go and press start was one of those uh animes mentioned and it was released on peacock last year so here we go they're sitting on it they're ready to go why hasn't it come out yet well that has to probably deal with them wanting to coincide with the remake of the game now of course this would make a whole lot of sense as we've seen with the hbo last of us when the series came out and it did really well a lot of people went out and bought the part one remake that or remaster and then with fallout on amazon prime video when that did really well guess what fallout 3 fallout 76 was topping charts with uh how well it was doing so it, it is proven that a good show, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats, if you know what I'm saying. So that's what they're probably waiting for here, is to release the anime alongside the Final Fantasy IX remake. But let's talk about the Final Fantasy IX remake. Why am I so confident that it's going to be there? Um, 
well, here's 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 a here's a collaboration that happened in November seventh, two thousand twenty-three. This was was this was announced. Final Fantasy IX collaborating a crossover event with with Ever Crisis, the mobile game for Final Fantasy VII. Look at this. Now, Ever Crisis seems to have been taking some assets from Remake and bringing it into the mobile game. So these could be actual assets from Final Fantasy IX Remake coming on over. Uh, that's, that's one suspicion, but this was November 9th of last year. What's, what, what happens around that time? The Game Awards. What if the plan was to announce Final Fantasy IX Remake at the Game Awards, but it just wasn't ready to go yet? So they've, they've, again, they're holding off on doing that. What if that was the plan? Now... Another thing that backs this up is over here, uh, Grubb, Jeff Grubb, an incredible um, journalist for video games. He's in the he's in this uh, in the industry, and I highly respect him. Uh, saying that, I just said it was definitely real. This is I haven't talked about Final Fantasy IX in weeks. The rumors keep bouncing back and forth between blogs and Twitter and all this other stuff. Uh, but he just clarified all I said was it was definitely real and. Here's him saying it, it is definitely real. So let's take a listen. Square Enix, most of the Square Enix games in there have been confirmed or even came out by now, except for Final Fantasy IX Remake and Final Fantasy Tactics Remaster. Uh, I will say I heard very recently, once again, Final Fantasy IX Remake is real. Like that is that is real and happening. So, you know. Do you think if they do that, they adopt the seven combat, the sort of mixed real time? I wonder. Which... Uh, I, 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 that game just feels a lot less fast when, whenever you watch it, it feels less like there's less. So he goes on to talk about it and please, I'm going to obviously leave the, uh, link in the description to go check out this podcast. Great podcast. Now he is of course referring to the NVIDIA leak that I, uh, brought up. This was back in 2021 that happened suspiciously around the same time as cyber group studios announcing <laughs> that they're doing an anime. Uh, the Final Fantasy IX remake was on that list of NVIDIA uh, that that leaked. Now, since the NVIDIA leak, we have gotten the Chrono Cross remaster. We have gotten Final Fantasy VII Remake Rebirth. We have gotten 16. We've gotten Kingdom Hearts 4 announcement and the Tomb Raider Anniversary Collection that came out, that HD uh, collection. The only thing left is Tactics Remaster and Final Fantasy IX Remake. So this is kind of like just basically saying, listen... The NVIDIA leak is very, very real. Um, and yeah, here, here's even more avowed fable. Uh, Gears of War 6 probably at, you know, the <laughs> Sunday at Xbox, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, like a lot of these games on the leak kind of end up being true. Now we're going to go over to another one. This is a leaker on Twitter that's been making the rounds at MBKKSSTBHZ5. I think this leaker goes by Midori. Um, kind of doing it. I don't like to follow the leaks too much, but for the sake of this video, I felt it was necessary to report on it just to bring the hype a little bit more. Now, this could all, of course, I, I take Jeff Grubb's word because <laughs> I trust Jeff Grubb and I respect him. Um, I have no idea about this leaker. But apparently uh, has been getting some things right from what I researched. Now, this leaker says, The Final Fantasy IX remake is still in development. It is a title that was not canceled in the restructure of Square Enix during the fiscal year. Development of this title is now very far along. So just, I, give you, I gave you the rumors. I gave you the conjecture, the speculation. Let me just seal this thing with a freaking nail. Like, boom, here it is. Let me hammer it home. This is Yoshi P at the PAX 24 um, presentation of Final Fantasy XIV stuff, talking about the you know the uh, crossover stuff with Final Fantasy XIV. We got the Zidane wind-up minion. Let's listen in. Uh, um, you may have noticed a lot of Final Fantasy IX references here, but 
the reason is a secret. <laughs> so, I mean, the re come on! That is it. We know for sure Final Fantasy IX is coming. It's about to happen. And Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail comes out this summer. It's coming out this summer. So, very, very soon. <laughs> So if we're going to have pre-order bonuses and in-game bonuses of Final Fantasy IX, do we get the announcement of Final Fantasy IX Remake before? Or do we get it like, hey, here's Final Fantasy XIV. Yes, you have a Zidane wind-up. You got, I think, uh, Garnett was also part of that with a with the Pictomancer weapon. Um, and all this other stuff with the pre-order bonuses. And, and it's just kind of like... Do you just get that and then it's like, oh wow, I'm I'm kind of excited about Final Fantasy IX. I, I'm reminded of how much I love this game if you're playing 14. And then it's like, oh hey, we also have the announcement later on. We're itching for more. We I mean, I know I know it's it sounds greedy, because we had 16, we had Rebirth, uh, we had 16's DLC. We'll probably get 16's PC release announcement at Summer Game Fest. We got 14 Dawn Trail. We got plenty of Final Fantasy to kind of tide us over until Game Awards when they fully reveal the Final Fantasy IX Remake. And this has lit the fire, man. This is I am so hyped for a Final Fantasy IX Remake potential, and I've been holding off on reporting on it because it's a rumor, and I don't think, you know, I, I don't know. I have this weird thing about reporting on rumors. Uh, I don't like doing that. <laughs> um, but... This is too much. It's it's almost basically confirmed at this point, especially with Yoshi P. That's why I saved it for the end. Yoshi P kind of solidifying it for me to the point where it was like, hey, it's okay to, to talk about this game now. And I think for Final Fan TV, at Final Fans, you can expect me really covering Final Fantasy IX from here on out. Like, I, I kind of want to commit to this. I want FFTV to be in a way synonymous with the remake uh and and you know let's share in the hype together uh but yeah i uh, like i said you know it's been rough for me and i decided to just pick up my steam deck and start playing final fantasy 9 with the maguri mod 16 by 9 4k 60 frames per second it is beautiful and it honestly it has brought me so much happiness uh so that's the power of final fantasy and that's why i'm a final fantasy fan um so there it is i want to thank everybody for watching this video all the way to the end i wasn't expecting it to be 20 minutes long but i hope you are excited i hope you're hype uh for a final fantasy 9 remake uh the music that you've heard throughout this video was sing 4d laughter i highly recommend you check him out as well of course that link will be in the description as well. And then to all of my Final Fan TV Party members, thank you for supporting me over on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Take care now. Bye-bye then. <laughs>